I picked up a newspaper today, and I couldn't believe it. I read eight headlines that talked about chaos, violence, unrest, and it just was henny penny, the sky is falling, I've never seen anything like it, and here is a country that's being liberated. Here are people who are going from being uh, repressed and held under the thumb of a vicious dictator, and they're free, and all this newspaper could do with eight or ten headlines they showed a man bleeding, a civilian who, who they claimed we had shot. One thing after another. It's just unbelievable how people can, can take that away from what is happening in that country. Now, please join me in welcoming Secretary Donald Rumsfeld. Some of your greatest accomplishments have been caused to the, the most uh, horrible human Sorry. suffering. For example, one million dead in Iraq aspartame and what do you say to that how do you live with the one million who are who've been killed or the thousands of the u.s question. citizens and the aspartame that you've legalized what do you say to that sir well, you know i'm glad you brought up aspartame <laughs> it's everywhere try walking down one aisle in the grocery store without finding aspartame in something is it safe should it have ever been approved that all depends on who you ask the the fact of the matter is that it is the most studied food additive, I think, in history. And to suggest, as you did, that it is hurting people is factually inaccurate. It's part of what you can find on the internet in terms of conspiracy theories. And it's almost amusing, but it's unfortunate because some people like you actually believe stuff like that. Sir, don't you think it's your responsibility as the FDA commissioner when aspartame was approved to answer some of our questions? Not now. I'm no longer the commissioner of the FDA. Do you think the public was no, ever I put at risk? You. Sir, was the public ever put Sorry. at risk? Sir. Sure. I will lower my voice. I mean, can you give an answer to that, please? I mean, you have the blood of a million Iraqis on your hands, sir. I mean, come on. I will leave. I will leave. I will leave. But you have killed a million Iraqis. You have the blood of thousands of Americans on your hands, sir. You will pay for this. And the American people will not sit back. Saddam would have killed more. You killed a million Americans. What was the purpose for the Iraq war, sir? I think I'm going to count him as undecided. Why are you picking me up? This guy killed so many people. Why are you picking me up? He's a killer for you, sir. He killed a million Iraqis. He legalized Ashkenazi. You're not going to discuss it. He should be the guy who's being kicked out. That's not appropriate for him, sir. He's the guy who should be kicked out of here. Why are you voice right now? Okay, I will lower my voice. Where? Okay, look, I, I, again, I'm here for public property. I had to ask him a question. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, but I mean, so I can't step on this sidewalk, right? You're saying? The no. sidewalk, is this part private or public? Stay away from me, sir. Just, just go away. What? Go away? Well, why can't I stand here? I don't understand it. A million of them are dead. To How is that freedom? freedom? To get the freedom, what it freedom? takes lives. What freedom? Sir, what takes, freedom? What freedom? The freedom of choosing their own government, their choosing own destiny. Choosing their own government. Yeah. Who put, that go who put their leader in place? Who put their leader in power? The people of Iraq, they the voted. The people of Iraq did not vote oh, for that man. On. Okay, first of all, answer, the answer. They Iraq said they had WMEs. Why do we have to be in their country? Why do the American people? You? Why, why do we have to be? not even American. I'm not American. What, what makes you think that? Are you racial profiling? Huh? I was born in America, brother. I was born here. My, my brothers have been killing that war. Thousands of Americans, one million Iraqis. Has a price. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Hey, you're talking yeah. big words. Do you have a family? Yes. Okay, if somebody bombs your family, kills your wife and kids, how are you gonna feel about that, buddy? Huh? Yeah. Tell me, tell me. Because Answer I'm not question. being selfish. You're not being just selfish. Just because my family dies? Just, what uh, about other millions no, of people? Okay. What you're millions being people? selfish. Okay, what about Africa? What about freedom for Africa? Ask the, answer the question, you coward. Yeah, keep walking. Keep drinking Coke and eating McDonald's.